guys it's nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new in today's video as you can tell by the title this is another get ready with me i know i'm gonna roll but i've been loving filming these and i wanted to get cute today i got a little outfit going i got a little cute makeup look going that i'm absolutely obsessed with so and my hair and my fragrance and the lotion and everything you know give you all the tea so if you guys want to see how i got this look and want to watch get, watch me get ready and get ready with me then please keep watching. okay so i already have my brows on i'm gonna go ahead and prime the eyes with my mac soft ochre pink pot my skin this week is like having such a bad week like I'm gonna go into my Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette. I just, I can't get over this palette. I'm gonna go into Vanilla Cream and Caramel and blend them in together. And I'm gonna put that into my crease. So, I'm gonna apply that. I'm gonna go into one of my e.l.f. mini melt brushes. This is the blending. It has black on it, but I'm gonna go into hazelnut and I'm gonna apply that to the outer corner. This is the perfect little neutral, moody eye go into my elf um, liquid shadow and flurry birdie and I'm basically gonna cut the crease with that oh wow I haven't used this on my eyes yet and when I tell you I'm shocked hold on I'm very shocked <laughs> that's so pretty into my elf liquid liner in jet black and i'm gonna line my eyes i don't want to do a crazy wing it ended up being crazy anyways I love this look. I feel like it's so cute and flirty. My wings are going in two different directions today. Hmm. I'm gonna fix that. And it's almost like it never happened. <laughs> I'm so quiet because everyone's home today and I feel so awkward if I talk loud because I feel like everyone's gonna be able to hear me and I'm like that's a little that's weird that's weird so sorry if I'm talking a little low I'm gonna go into my first day beauty ultra repair collagen cream you guys know as you guys seen like I love this such a good moisturizer Next, gonna go into my Dermalogica. It's the Pris Prisma Protect SPF 30. Love this one. This has been my favorite SPF lately. So I'm gonna apply that everywhere. Definitely have to today. Gonna be outside. So we going outside today. I really like this look. It's so subtle and pretty. And you can also like amplify it like especially with like lashes and stuff like this could be such a pretty like birthday look because it's shimmery it got me thinking even though my birthday passed already next year and lastly i'm gonna prime the skin with my smashbox vitamin glow serum with vitamins b c and e is i right yep b c and e. i say that every single day we're gonna go into foundation now i'm gonna use my ulta beauty Velvet Matte Full Coverage 12 Hour Foundation. I love this one. I'm using the shade Medium Neutral. And I take it on the back of my hand. This tube has lasted me so long. It's actually kind of insane. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush and use the fluffy side. 
to buff that in to the beautiful skin. I'm gonna go into my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 27S, so light, medium, sand, and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the skin. I love my Tarte Shape Tape. I literally thought I lost this one and then I recently found it and I was like, oh, she was just in storage. And I'm gonna use that same complexion duo brush to blend this out. I really like to use this brush to especially blend out like my forehead highlight because it just blends it in so nicely with the foundation and there's no harsh lines on it. Like it's a very, very good brush and it's so affordable and inexpensive. Like you can just see how it blended this side out and then we're gonna blend this side. I'm actually really happy okay this is so side note but I'm really happy with my outfit today because I feel like I look like summer okay so next I'm going to go into my elf putty bronzer this is in the shade bronzed bell um I've raved about this on my channel recently I did a review and I really do like it can really build it up to be the harshest contour or the nicest sculpting product you want it to be or you can use it as your nice every day just bronzing contour cream and i really do like that and i really love elf's putty line in general like i didn't use it today but i almost always um for a little bit of time have been going into my elf putty primer so i wonder if they'll ever do a foundation like a putty foundation okay using that same foundation brush i like to use ac like what's excess of the brush to kind of blend out because i feel like it blends it in nicely without being too harsh like i'm not gonna look like i have like my skin tone then the contour and then highlight and then my skin tone it's kind of gonna kind of gonna kind of all blend in together and that's what I want essentially I don't want anything too harsh especially for today's makeup look so and honestly I could set under the eyes and kind of go with the skin like this if I wanted to but I'm not I go into my Maybelline fit me powder in light medium 20 and I'm going to use that under the eyes with this elf 105 brush I love this brush for applying powder like in the areas that I want. I've been doing it recently, honestly, um, and I like it a lot. It's like the perfect amount of like fluffy, but it's also dense, so it really gets like a nice application. And I love this Maybelline powder. I just started using it literally yesterday again. And I love it. I missed her and I will never turn my back on her again. I'm gonna go into my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Tan and I'm gonna use this fluffy tart brush and I'm gonna set the rest of the face while um, brushing away any of the excess powder. I also like the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder because they have so many different tones. Um, that you can choose from so it's not just like your translucent shades like they have so many different tones that anybody can really use to set and i like that because sometimes i really don't want that full-on like really light highlighted look like a lot sometimes i just want like i just want to set it and then you know go in with bronzer but i don't want to look too bronze because sometimes if i kind of just go in with a powder or let's say if i go in with this right and then i and i just use that to set under the eyes and then go in with like my bronzer um sometimes i feel like it makes my skin tone look almost not what it naturally is and i don't like that because that obviously doesn't match me so you just kind of gotta figure out what you like and what you don't i'm gonna go into my kylie cosmetics bronzing powder in the shade tawny one 
and I'm gonna take just this equal tools brush and I'm gonna apply that where I applied the cream contour. I'm gonna do my nose. This is such a good brush for like a lazy nose contour because it's already pinched for that perfect nose contour. You just gotta go bloop bloop and your nose is contoured. So good with the makeup look I just think it kind of brings everything together so I'm gonna use my elf stand on micro fine mist to kind of set the skin it's been my favorite setting spray I'm gonna go into my makeup by Mario blush in the shade wild berry I've been loving this a lot and I'm gonna use my Morphe extract on hell JHO4 it's just like an angled brush oh I love this blush I just love this blush so much like I'm so happy I picked it out. I'm so happy I chose a shade. I was on Sephora's app and I was trying to find a shade before I went into the store and I was like, I don't know. And then it really helped me actually find like the right shade. Cause I really like to fill up my carts before I go into the store. So I know what I'm looking for. I don't know. It just, it promotes a better shopping experience for me personally, because then I'm going to buy stuff that I don't need. And then I'm be like, when am I ever going to use this? And then money's just going to be sitting and I don't like that. I'm going to go into my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlight and Mean Money and Hustler Baby. And I'm going to be taking them both and just applying them to the highlights of my face. And this is an e.l.f. Blush highlighting brush um, that I really like to use. I love the tip of it. I like how it's fluffy, but the tip is just so nice to apply it and it applies it in like a very natural way in my opinion so i love that and fenty beauty can never do no wrong with me this is like my favorite drugstore mascara it's just so good i use the false lash false lash effect one and i don't even use this one that much anymore but every time i do use it it reminds me why i love it and i'm like why did I stop using it again? Because the wand is so perfect. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin. And it just provides the perfect application. I'm telling y'all. Instantly, my lashes look more lifted, more wispy, but in a natural way. But my lashes look so long. Like, what well, girl you know does that? Because... I'm going to go into my Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This one is in the shade. Does it have a shade? I don't know. In the buff. In the buff. And that is going to go on my waterline. Oh my gosh, when I'm editing and I... I'm looking at when I apply like liner. I'm like, why do you open your mouth like that? I hate it. But I think everybody does it. So, I mean, I guess I'm not alone, but it's so annoying. Same thing with my mascara. I'm like, dude, I just want to be cute. And here I am like, oh. anyways, I'm going to go back into my e.l.f. liner in Jack Black and I'm going to just add um, some beauty marks so I emphasize the two that I have on the top and the bottom of my lip then I go in and I add a little bit to the face because of course we are still wearing masks and I like to just add them because I feel like it really brings my looks together sometimes and because I use such full coverage foundation it always covers the ones that I have on the top and bottom of my lip but I love my beauty marks so I kind of like add them back and I have a few on my forehead too, I think, but I kind of just like to lightly add them back in. This one was a little intense, but. Okay, we're gonna now move on to lips. I'm gonna take my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner and apply it. gonna use my elf camo concealer one of the old ones and or one of the used out ones, not old ones one of the used out ones and i apply it through the center because it creates the perfect like ombre lip for me when i use my highlight shade and then i'm gonna go into my kylie cosmetics so cute lip gloss 
I'm gonna apply that in the center of the lips. I like that today. Oh, I really forgot how much I like this Lash Princess mascara. I have to say, I apologize to this mascara for cheating on me because this is good. I'm gonna go back into my e.l.f. Micro Fine Mist Setting Spray. And that is it for the makeup portion. I'm gonna fix my hair a bit. I said I was gonna post every day this week and look at me this week. I got no video edit. I didn't edit the video that I filmed for today to post today. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna go into my Blueberry Bliss um, leave-in conditioner from Curls. I'm gonna apply that to kind of make everything soft again. Uh, pull out my little side curls because I love the little side curls I be having going on. I'm gonna take a little bit, just a tad of my got to be glued hair gel. And apply that because I just know that's gonna keep my hair just you know flat and all of the things. So I'm gonna take the first hair tie and tie it my hair into like a tight little bun then I take the second and make sure that everything's tight and that bun is cute I'm gonna take a little bit of the leave the leave-in again and I'm gonna just apply it to the curls okay I like it I don't know I'm gonna add some earrings. So these are my favorite hoops. They're from Lily Pulitzer. They're so cute. I'm gonna wear these today because like I said yesterday, I think a nice hoop really goes like with, you know, any hair type, but like putting your hair back and everything, I feel like it's just really cute. See, you can't tell me that I didn't put the outfit together. By the way, so for now, I'm gonna, I haven't showed you guys my outfit yet, but you see the shirt. So the top is from New York and Company. The shorts are from Vineyard Vines if you are interested. So just before I forget, because I'm sure that I'm going to have to like film my outfit like another point of the day. My fragrance today is going to be my Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. I'm going to take the rollerball and just apply it to my wrist, to my temples, and then I like to do it on the collarbones. And I feel like I just smell good. I'm going to add it to my ankles just because I don't know. I saw my ankles and said, wow, you look like you need fragrance. So yeah, I'm gonna go into this Sun Valley um, lotion. This is the white tea and ginger. And I love this one. It smells so good. Gonna apply it because the legs is out, honey. We can't be ashy lotion so much and especially in a world where we're always putting on hand sanitizer which can be really drying to the hands i feel like this is needed like needed so this is neutrogena's hydro boost hand gel cream amazing i love this one um especially let's say sometimes you'll apply like your hand sanitizer like so much because you know you're like i right, want to like be germ free and then you know your hands are a little dry a little bit of this will just help take that away of course washing your hands but a little bit of this if you're just in a moment where you can't amazing and such a good hand cream in general I'm actually gonna put some on now comes out blue and i love it it's just it's amazing i love this it's so nice and fresh it's so good like honestly neutrogena like hit the spot with that one but okay so eventually I'm going to show you guys like my outfit and everything, but this is it for my full get ready with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Comment if you like seeing these videos for me because I have really been liking filming them. Um, and yeah, I almost forgot to add deodorant. You guys know what deodorant I like. It's the Dove Even Tone. I love this one. Um... And it really helps if you suffer from like the darkness under your armpits. It really helps to lighten that naturally. So I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.